My name is Eric Sanders, I work for South West Council in the Economic Development Team and I'm doing a Level 4 Higher Apprenticeship in Leadership and Management. During my A-levels, I decided I didn't want to go to university, so after a few years of working, I spoke to a few friends that had done apprenticeships and they were doing pretty well for themselves, so I thought, you know, it's a good way to still get qualifications but not accrue any debt. Hi, I'm Jamie Cook, I work at South West Council as an Economic Development Assistant and I'm doing a higher level apprenticeship in leadership and management. A typical day would normally be coming into work, answering some emails, maybe putting some news articles on the website. I then sometimes have a meeting, maybe fair trade, and um, then I'll do follow-up actions from that and see if there's any inquiries that have come through. So I basically help businesses relocate to the area. So if I do have any inquiries then I basically chase them up with an email or a phone call and see how they're getting on with their search for property. Yes, absolutely fine. Um, is there well, we, we look at every area that they work in and the jobs that we've given them are, it's, it's a wide spectrum and we provide specific training in certain aspects of the job and I've given them responsibilities in those areas. They've integrated into our team brilliantly. They fit in with the team, they, they, they socialise with the team. In fact, in every aspect, they've been a, a real asset to the team. And it's actually made us older members of the team, if you like, um, become more aware of the importance of working as a team. I was given a lot of support from my family when I was applying for my apprenticeship because they knew I didn't want to go to university. But when it came to school, I wasn't given a lot of support. I think they were very focused on the university route. So apart from that, you weren't given a lot of guidance, so I had to kind of find it for myself, which was really difficult. But luckily I managed to find one that I really enjoy. Most of my mates are post-grad, and they're doing jobs not so relevant to their degree. Um, a few of them are doing post-grad schemes, and the ones that, are doing, that did apprenticeships are mostly self-employed and doing pretty well for themselves. So pretty similar to my salary and my career path, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From this, I'd love to carry on working for the council in this team. Hopefully, um, once I'm fully trained, become an officer and carry on studying for the level five, possibly even go on in the future to the level six or see how it goes, really. Well, they're developing well and we are pushing them forward. And the best way to do that is to give young people a responsibility so that there are areas of the work that they have taken total responsibility for. And by doing that, it gives them more confidence and their learning from the higher apprenticeship level is, is actually aided them to, to take on that responsibility. Super, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend a friend to do a higher apprenticeship because it's a perfect opportunity to get a foot in the door and if you know what sort of career you want to take, it's the perfect way to start that off in the right way. Yeah.